Okay, I want to commend you at this point in time because you have reached what I think is the final payoff in this whole deal. You reached module eight. You've come this far. We're going to talk about financial independence. We're going to start in lesson one and talk about a new paradigm. In fact, what we're going to do, I think we should do here is roll up our sleeves because this is going to be really, really good for you. Roll up those sleeves because we're going to talk about financial independence and we're going to make sure that we get ourselves through that really important journey of financial independence, our new paradigm. So let me get this one last sleeve rolled up, okay? A little button issue, but now, roll up your sleeves, get ready, because we want to make sure that we take this journey together. You need the coach and the guide. We're going to wrap it all up in this final module. Okay, a new paradigm. So we've got a new paradigm in financial planning. Now what we're really talking about here today is I want the ability to move the middle class to financial independence. This is pretty unique. As you know, the middle class is dramatically underserved, but I want to be able to take the middle class and the mass affluent and move them to financial independence. It's about life experience. This is going to be a reverse bucket list. We're not going to wait until we're near death to have a bucket list. We want to do it now. We want to have a life list. We want to have a reverse retirement plan. We don't want to wait till we're going to retire to be able to enjoy ourselves. We want to enjoy ourselves now. It's a new paradigm in financial planning. So today, right now, what is financial planning? What does it look like? What does that industry look like? Well, it's for the wealthy. Let's be honest. The wealthy is who they want to market to. The wealthy is who they're looking to have. It's advisory. It's industry-wide investments, but it's focused on the wealthy. It's focused on the top maybe 1, 2, or 3%. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But what it does is it leaves out about 145 million people. That's a lot of people. They're in this new paradigm I'm talking about. And it's just a new paradigm. It's just a new way of thinking. It's a new way of seeing things. It's a new issue brand new, financial independence. It's a breakthrough. It's going to be relationship oriented and financial literacy based. And again, it's going to come from referrals. I don't know if you remember the story of Acres of Diamonds. Russell Conwell used to travel the world and the nation mainly to tell this story so that he could raise $11 million. Now, this is back in the 20s. $11 million, think about what it is to date in today's dollars. But he raised $11 million given this little story about Acres of Diamonds. And he would tell this brief story. And basically, the moral to the story, every one of them in Russell Conwell's speeches, the moral to the story was the grass is greener on the other side. While you're so busy looking on the other side, you're missing your own Acres of Diamonds that are right in front of you. I'm going to be able to give you that Russell Conwell book, Acres of Diamonds. I want you to be able to read it. I want you to read that story for yourself. I won't do it a disservice and try to tell it now in a short period of time. I want you to read that for yourself. Acres of Diamonds. Now, our new paradigm is community-based, okay? We want this paradigm shift to be based around community. It's about information. It's about education. We want to teach a man to fish, just like you've gone through this. We want to teach a man to fish. We don't want to give a man a fish. We've got plenty of that in our society. Give a man a fish, and that's great. But if you give a man a fish, he just comes back the next day asking for two. So what you need to do is teach a man to fish. You need to be able to be now, to be who, what, where, when, how, and most importantly, why. Why do you want to reach financial independence? These are the things that have to be paramount in your journey. And remember, it's a journey. As we discussed earlier, every journey needs a guide. You're not going up Mount Everest without a Sherpa. So we are your guide. We have financial concierges ready to expand this whole program and discuss the needs with people on this journey. They need guides. They need good people. They need people like yourself, people who know where they're going, know what they've done, and people who are able to share the story. So as we look through this new paradigm and go through module eight, we are going to really expand some thoughts on this in our
kind of putting the inner part of our jigsaw puzzle. We're going to get it all done and filled in. I'll see you in the next lesson.